This video I'm not gonna this is more of just a heads up kind of video because the subject material uh, that I want to cover has already been covered by two other guys and it's very well done. So first part I did find the handle, bring you guys over to the bench and um, show you a little bit of this and a little bit about it. Alright, at the bench, here's the guy. Like I had mentioned, I was trying to find something nicer than what I had coming from Taiwan or whatever. It's nice, but it wasn't the greatest. So Amazon, it was like $10 or so called Connex One or whatever by Malco, M-A-L-C-O. Uh, really nice, great handle, great everything. Cleaned this up a little bit with some uh, Scotch-Brite oiled it down. When I got it though, you I mean you quickly just take all my regular bits and I put them in there and yeah man it you know detaches and it was great. What happened though was I took here's the one from the Harbor Freight set. I had put this in there and you couldn't pull the collar back. I couldn't get this thing out. So um what happened was they've done this wrong somehow and it's not deep enough or it's slightly too forward or something so it doesn't allow the ball bearings uh, to go deep enough so you can pull this collar back to clear a shelf that's inside of this thing so I had to take it apart to get this thing out and then I put it all back together and I'm thinking great now I've got a machine this or something and it occurred to me that you know wait a minute this thing has got a magnet in it so you want to have this quick disconnect I just left the bearings out of it there you go real quick disconnect <laughs> so everything goes in it comes out I don't have to pull the collar back because there's no bearings but that's just kind of a heads up on this the Harbor Freight piece. I don't know whether it's just mine or all of them, but it, nice handle. Go on Amazon uh, again. C O N N E X. I think that's a one in there. Ten-ish dollars. Great tool. Love it. So, all right. So I just wanted to share that. All right. This next segment's kind of hard to cover. Um, on uh, not the last video, but the video before that, I showed making a machinist jack. And three comments were left by the same person. Uh, first comment was pretty foul mouthed, uh, <laughs> saying, I need to uh, blankety blank throw this piece of junk out the window. So I just kind of ignored and deleted that comment. The next comment was saying what an idiot I am because I wasn't using cutting fluid when tapping and I always use cutting fluids uh, I didn't go back and look at the video maybe I skipped it for some reason but rapid tap um, is my favorite so you guys go and get some rapid tap I've tried everything I've shown it in some other videos um, the last comment though was uh, I was using a center drill. I've got center drills and spotting drills, both sets. Never really thought about it, um, what, why, what they're about. But um, the last comment was I didn't use the center drill correctly. I'm supposed to go all the way into the bottom of the angle part. So you guys know me, I'm, I'm going to research everything and figure out and get to the bottom of it if it's something that I could be doing wrong. Um, maybe I'm doing it wrong, maybe not. Maybe all you guys are nice and never bothered to tell me that I'm doing something wrong. But um, I did get research it out and in the description you'll find two links. The first link you definitely need to watch because it opened my eyes up about um, center drills and what they're about and they're specifically really to be used for when you're going between live centers or centers because uh, you think about it and you really pay attention to this guy's video and you'll see well the important thing is when you want to center drill 
you need to pull your stock all the way out, drill it, and then put your live or dead center in there. You can't do it way back at the chuck. And so if you think about it, it's like he really explains that. So that's the first thing. It's like the center drills are just for making the hole for um, a live center or a dead center. And you think about the way it goes this way up, that this part is actually making a pocket so that the point of the center does not bottom out. So I've been using those drills, um, center drills, just because they seem to be working better than the spotting drills. The second video by Stefan is also fantastic. It tells you everything you need to know about spotting drills and how to use them. And so I've moved my spotting drill set over to the ladies' side. I'm going to start using that. I did some tests already, and um, it works really nice. So. Uh, occasionally, I think in my videos, you'll see I use the center drill, and then I go in with the drill bit, and you'll see it slightly move. Well, that's not happening when I use the spotting drill, so um, watch these two videos. Really open my eyes up, so hope you enjoy.